some trail loops and a dirt road, and I'm just going to do a 10 mile recovery run today. It's a pretty popular running location. Um, it's good if you have a group of people. There's a nice wide road and it's nice and soft, so good scenery. We're just after a time trial, which I'd classify as a like workout intensity, so I usually have three recovery days after that, um, and we just get some distance runs in, and um, that's today's day one of three, and then I'll have another workout uh, midweek. We're gonna cut through the trail to the dirt road about half a mile, and we'll catch you guys when we get there. So, see ya. <laughs> Whatever the, I don't know, whatever I have to be planning for that week as far as setting up races and stuff and travel and um, how to arrange like workout plans and um, kind of just like the day-to-day -day stuff you have to do and your mind just kind of wanders. I can tell like a race or workout are going well if I feel um, like my legs are fresh and bouncy and not tired and heavy because that does happen sometimes and I can tell if my form is like um, feeling good and you know I'm not doing any of my like form breakdowns early on that I'm gonna have a good run that day. How do you pace yourself in a race uh, and still save something? I just try and listen to my body and go on feel. Usually, um, just kind of knowing I can't go over the, that what that line feels like for like going over my red line. Um, I can know I can't do that until like a certain point. So, just kind of learning how to ride that. Where's your favorite place in the world to run? What trail? I really like Lincoln Woods in Rhode Island. It's probably my favorite run at home. And then here in Flag, I like the Wal Walnut Canyon trails are some of my favorite places to run. And then in Belgium, there's a really nice trail near uh, KU Leuven, the university there. So those three places kind of have become my like home training grounds. <laughs> Um, pretty much immediately since I got out of college, like that summer even, I started running with like the Providence training group over in Europe and I noticed we ran kind of slower than what I was used to, but then I immediately PR'd like within weeks, realizing being tired is kind of, like fatigue is kind of insidious, like I didn't realize I was tired until I wasn't tired anymore. So I'm glad I learned that really early on. So I think if we flip here and just go back down that hill, that should be pretty close to 10. Easy days kind of are boring and you don't feel like you're getting a lot out of them, but um, they're a bulk of my mileage and obviously mileage is important and for most people, um, you know, if the more you run, the more efficient you're gonna be and it's just not super glamorous getting those miles in, so that's kind of what today's about. Just the grind of recovering, getting the mileage in, not taking any shortcuts, and just kind of letting the fitness build at its own rate. So yeah, it can seem kind of underwhelming, but um, that was an important 70 minutes for me. 